statistics in the field of illicit financial flows. Measuring or quantifying illicit financial flows is challenging given that it is a hidden activity and information needed to measure it cannot be captured by a single data source because these are scattered in different organizations of the country. Measuring IFS then relies on the use of indirect or proxy measures rather than direct observation. That's the importance of data and statistics. Ghana suffers high levels of least financial flows, mispricing in trade, import and export, high exposure and vulnerability to IFS in trade, foreign direct investment, double taxation treaties, financial security and corporate tax having activities of partners. These have adverse implications for inward outward direct investment, import export trade, with holding tax yields for interest payments, royalties, banking claims and dividend payments. There is a lack of a uniform framework for conceptualizing and measuring IFS until the recently when UNCTAD and UNDOP established an international uh, task force in 2019 to develop uh, comprehensive methodologies to measure the indicator 16.4.1. Ghana has been researching elite financial flows using the price filter methodology since 2014 based on both macro and micro data. Price filter analysis was used to study the, and evaluate each import and export record against an arm's length price range in our trade with the European Union and the US for the period 2000 to 2012. The upper quintile price and the lower quintile prices are estimated for each commodity category for the EU world, US world, the EU Ghana and the US Ghana pairs. The price range between the upper quintile price and the lower quintile price is assumed to be the arm's length price range. If the declared price is a, is a particular transaction falls within the interquintile price range, it's assumed to be within the arm's length transaction. So therefore, there's no problem. Otherwise, if it's outside it, it is flagged as a suspicious transaction requiring further investigation by the customs. Initial results from our analysis show that trade mis invoicing is real in Ghana especially in our trade with the U.S. and the European Union for the period 2017. In the case of an evaluation of imports for the 13-year period, the and invoice amount was 2.7 billion for the EU and 630 billion for 0.63 billion series dollars for the U.S. An evaluation of exports to Ghana for the 13-year period was 2.8 billion for the EU and 0.63 for the EU. Annual trade mispricing between is between 100 million euros to 300 million euros, while that of the U.S. is. $328 million. Spain is the largest enterprising partner for a 13-year period with the Netherlands, UK, Belgium, Greece, each at $100 million for a 13-year period. Identifies export sectors, communities with significant enterprising include wood, wood products, or cocoa and gold. Therefore, within the 13 year period, EU imports was about 
14% and uh, valued, while U.S. imports was about 21% and valued. In the case of exports to Ghana, EU exports was 40% and valued, the U.S. export was 8% and valued. Thank you very much.